Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today I decided to film something a little different. I wanted to do a Q&A to kind of get to know me a little better. Um, I posted on social media for people to ask me questions. So I have a few questions here that um, you guys asked. So let's just get right into it. Um, tell us your worst baking mistake. A couple years back, it still haunts me till this day. Now I'm super extra careful, but a couple years back, a few years back, actually, I think her baby's four now. Um, I made my best friend's sister's baby's first birthday cake. <laughs> that was a lot. Um, so as I'm, you know, getting everything boxed up, getting it to the table, because they're about to come to pick everything up, I dropped the smash cake. I dropped the freaking smash cake. Um, oh, that was so terrible. I still cringe. Like, I can't believe I did that. Um, that was the only time I've ever done that, though. Till this day, I have never dropped another cake. Knock on wood. But that was really scary. Thank God it was my best friend. So I was able to be like, hey, give me some more time, please. I needed to redo the cake. I smashed the smash cake before the baby. Like, how rude am I? Anyways, yeah that was that was that that was horrible um what are you most proud of i would have to say i am most proud of my son he is a really great kid he's a little emotional but <laughs> he's a good kid and um he makes me proud every day he really does what is your favorite thing about your son <laughs> he's a really sweet boy um my favorite thing about him is that he has the ability to see the good in everybody. Um, no matter what, he wants to see the good in them. He's very forgiving. You know, as a mom, that does scare me for, you know, when he grows up. And, you know, there's that fear that somebody will take advantage of his kind little heart. But he has the ability to see the good in everybody. And I love that about him. I really love that about him. There's not very many people like that. What is your favorite kind of music? I really like country music and oldies. Um, I've always loved oldies just because growing up, I was always around oldies music. That's what my dad loves. Um, oldies remind me of my dad. I will always love oldies, but um, my newfound love for music is country. Just a couple years back, I started listening to country music thanks to Carlos, and I never thought I would be into country, but I really do enjoy it. <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> just so you guys know, one of my best friends asked me that question. I am not single. She just thinks she's so funny. I'm not single. I've been in a relationship for... Um, why don't you guys guess? Um, leave a comment and tell me how long you, you think I've been in a relationship for. How old were you when you started baking? I was about 18, 17, 18 years old when I started baking. I've always kind of baked growing up because my mom has always baked so you know kids want to jump in and help but officially like on my own I'm lying not on my own because I would still I would still ask my mom for help when I first I still do I'm lying I still ask her for help but officially baking and decorating whoa I would say about 17 or 18 um who is Mason's number one fan <laughs> me <laughs> Just kidding. Well, yes, of course, I'm my son's number one fan. But um, my really good friend, Amy, she really gives me a run for my money on being his number one fan. I kid you not. If you didn't know who Mason's mom is and you went to one of his shows, you would think she's his mom. Just the way she sits there and looks at him on stage like he's the most perfect thing ever. And the way she cheers for him and like, she will literally be like, oh, encore. <laughs> she really gives me a run for my money. Like, she's a good competitor. She's a good contender for that question. Like, she comes really close to mom. She really does. <sighs> what has been your favorite party theme to bake for? Though I really, really love doing weddings. Um, I For kids' parties... I love monster themes. Monster themes are so fun and so cute. Not just Monster Zinc, like any regular monster themes. I love them. I love them. For boys and for girls, they're super cute and fun. <laughs> uh, 
Um, how do you bake in this heat? Everyone shed a tear for me. I don't know how I do it. It is so hard and it's so hot and it really sucks, but I make it work. By the grace of God, everything works out and I've been lucky. But it is really hard. This heat is no joke when it comes to cakes. Leave those bad boys in the fridge until you're ready to cut them. Um, your makeup is so pretty in your videos. You should start a makeup channel. Makeup with a sprinkle of love. Just kidding. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing. I kind of just make things up as I go. And if I've ever done your makeup, you're a trooper. I don't know what I'm doing. I just make it up. I have a hard time explaining things and how to teach you guys how to bake on my channel already like I'm still figuring that out and I've been baking way longer than I became decent at doing makeup so that would be scary it would probably be amusing to watch but I'm not gonna lie I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but bear with me guys I'm going to get better at this whole explaining and baking and teaching things does keto actually work so I know some of you guys see that I post on social media. I drink a keto coffee. It's a keto coffee from It Works, not sponsored. <laughs> I, though I really, really love the coffee, I am not on a keto diet. I am not on a keto diet, so I really couldn't answer that question for you. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be honest. This keto coffee makes me feel amazing. It has superpowers or something, and I have lost some weight drinking it. I don't get any headaches like I do when I drink regular coffee. I really do like the coffee, but I don't, I'm don't. i not on a keto diet or lifestyle or anything like that. So I couldn't answer that for you. Um, how long have you been baking for? So About eight years. I've been baking for about eight years. What is your favorite thing to make? I think my favorite thing to make are decorated sugar cookies. Those used to be the death of me. I used to hate doing sugar cookies. They would take me hours. I would cry, but I love doing them now. Um, I Yeah, I would say those are my favorite to make. Those and French macarons or macarons. I don't know how to say it. Do you sometimes eat a cookie or try the cake? <laughs> I make extra like so I can taste it to make sure everything's good. But I've never, like, took a bite out of somebody's cake or stolen a cookie that I made, you know. Can you imagine if I bit someone's cake and then just covered it with frosting? I don't do that, guys. I promise I don't do it. Can you make edibles asking for a friend? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why are you so sweet? Oh, thank you. Um, what got you into baking? Um, um, honestly, what got me into baking was I had my son at a really, really young age and I didn't want to put that burden, not that it was a burden, um, that financial burden, you know, kids are a blessing always, no matter what. I didn't want to fully depend on my mom or my dad, like that was not the responsibility that was me and Carlos was only working part-time and he was also very young I didn't want to throw that just on him too like you know we both needed to buckle up and figure this out and get it going though my parents were very very um, supportive regardless of how they felt um, they've always been there for my son they're amazing I didn't want to be you know that teen mom that was like okay here mom <laughs> peace out and do whatever I wanted. No, I was still going to school. So I wanted to take some responsibility and bring some sort of income in. Even if it was just a few dollars every week or whatever, like it helped. So I used to take candy apples to school when I was in high school for my mom to help her fundraise for dance because me and my sister both dance. And eventually people kind of started asking like, hey, do you know how to do cake pops? And I would be like, yeah, I know how to do cake pops. Let me tell you. I did not know how to do cake pops. I lied. I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. I went home. I would figure it out. And I would make cake pops. <laughs> then they would be like, can you make these kind of cupcakes? Can you do these? 
cookies can you do this cake and then eventually I started doing cakes and it was the same thing. I would be like, yeah, I can totally do it. And there I would be struggling, crying, staying up the entire night. But I would get it done. Because, well, I had to. I told you guys I could do it and I couldn't. <laughs> so I had to do it. Um, but it started bringing in money. And I just have to say, like, I look back at some of my work and it's scary. It is scary. So I just want to say if you were one of my very first customers and you continue to come to me till this day, thank you so much for believing in me and for trusting me and for never making me feel like you should have never paid me. You guys are amazing. I could have never imagined that I would grow this much. Not that I'm some big time baker. Like I'm not cake boss. I don't own my own bakery, but I'm booked all the time and I could have never imagined my little business growing this much and because of you guys I am able to be here for my son to be available and you know to help Carlos with the bills I'm able to feel like you know I'm doing something also and I'm not just sitting here doing nothing I'm able to go to my son's activities I'm able to go to his parent-teacher conference his parent-teacher conferences, like anything that involves him, I'm able to be there without having to worry about it because of you guys. So thank you guys so much. I could never, ever thank you guys enough. One day, if I become rich and famous, I'm going to remember all my faithful customers. You guys are all going to get free goodies, okay? Remember this. Save this video. I promise you. <laughs> but yeah, that that's really what got me into baking. I never thought... I always wanted to be a teacher or... Um, a pediatrician or something. I always wanted to work with kids. But, um, you know, um, life happens. I could still do those things, honestly, and I do. I do want to go back to school. But that's really, really what got me. I'm getting off track now. I started baking because of my son, and I wanted to help. Boom. <laughs> Why did you start YouTube? Kind of the same reason I started baking. Um, the sole purpose is because... I wanted to help teach other people, though I still suck at it. I'm going to get better. I wanted to teach other people, other moms, young moms, um, any moms, dads even. You know, you don't always have that money to throw your kids this big extravagant party, though you always want to give them the best. You want to give them the world. I'm not going to lie. Custom cakes, custom cookies, treats, desserts like that, they are very, very expensive i have seen people charge 50 dollars for a dozen decorated cookies i don't even charge half of that it's crazy but their work is amazing and it's time consuming so i know it's worth it the price it's very very time consuming but sometimes you just can't afford that it's it's crazy you can't afford that. so my hopes for this is that i'm able to help people by either you know they can make it on their own and they can have their kids parties make their shoots for the kids parties or maybe you guys can even start like selling to friends and family also and make extra income if you need it that's really the goal for my youtube channel um i know i need to work on my tutorials i'm give me notes give me feedback leave a comment let me know what you think how i should better explain myself with things i kind of stumble over my words or sometimes when i'm looking back at videos i see that I didn't explain things as good as I should have, but I promise you guys I'm going to work on that. But that really is why I started YouTube, because I want to help other people that struggled like I did. And it has really been a blessing what I do. It has been a huge blessing in my life and my family's life. And I just hope to help you guys in the same way. Or you guys can just watch and make fun of me. It's okay. <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, so that's all the questions I have. If you guys have any more questions, maybe I can do a part two. Um, I had a lot of questions about, um, my pregnancy and my son and stuff, but I felt like that was way too off topic. And just the like three questions I had, I really, I went ranting about it, but maybe I'll do a part two. If you guys really do want to know more about that. And I need to keep looking at the camera because I keep looking away. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else you want to see. Let me know if you have more questions. Whatever it is. Thank you. Okay, so my phone died and I have to refilm this outro. But anyway, anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.